in this video we are going to see how we can change boring cmd in windows to the awesome windows terminal and we will see how we can change the background color image and a lot of things so it should be like uh, really nice and pleasant experience if you are working with the uh, terminal so first things uh, let's get to install the windows terminal so let's open microsoft store uh, if you have already installed, uh, you can directly configure the terminal. So this is a different than CMD. That is a command line uh, interface. So you already have installed, then you don't need to install. But let's say I search for a terminal and just get installed from here. So once you install, let's open terminal. So terminal is really powerful application that can you can use for like uh, configuring the task as well as like uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, really handy actually than the CMD. So once you open the terminal, this is how it look like. If you want to open the new tab, you can just click on here. So it just like uh, allow you to do like this. If, if you want to run the Windows PowerShell, you can also like uh, open the Windows PowerShell inside the terminal. So this is how it work. Uh, let's now, uh, let's see how we can configure this like background image and everything for this terminal. Okay, so once you are in, inside the terminal, uh, okay, I, Click on settings so it will open the settings so this is how your settings look like okay now uh, let's say you are mainly op uh, working on the some projects and you want to be like have a really nice terminal as well as start the uh, starting directory as a project that's your required uh, uh, directory so how we can do let's add the new profile here yeah. So let's create a new empty profile. Let's see this profile is, uh, I call it uh, projects and I say it's code. Okay, uh, command line, you can change the command line from here. If you want to, you can have it as bash. Uh, if you are running bash inside the windows, that also possible. Uh, you can have the PowerShell or whatever. I just keep it as a CMD. Uh, starting directory let's change the starting directory actually uh, so whenever i open the terminal it should start with some uh, uh, required directory so i call it as like a projects here so i want to work mostly in that okay icon so you can even change the icon as well i will change the icon from that to this let's say okay uh, tab title i just uh, not uh, apply the tab title as of now uh, it will be whatever the program we are running uh, now go to the appearance so in the appearance uh, there is a lot many color scheme so just choose whatever you like this is how the different colors in scheme look like i go with the gambit so which is like a black background and very bright uh, colors so you can see this is how the color look like uh, now font space uh, there is like a different font space if you would like to apply i let's say i like uh, consolas this i choose right now you can change the font space size as well and um, uh, i like font weight uh, okay let's go with uh, extra black okay okay uh, cursor and uh, most important like a background image so we can even assign the background image uh, let's uh, use the any background image so i let's say i choose it warrior one and uh, uh, make the some opacity somewhat lower so we will get like a really nice feel here uh, background image opacity and background transparency as well 50 percent kind of and okay now let's save it 
okay and now let's see and so you have this uh, back arrow here so this is allow you to select the profile so i get the profile project code here and you see this is the terminal that we have created like it's nice look really nice now and the starting uh, uh, directory is also projects let's say the color schemes look really nice so let's say you feel this uh, transparency is not that uh, much like it's too much transparent so let's change it from here uh, appearance and uh, okay background image transparency will change it to the somewhat higher okay now this is how it looks like so it's beautiful actually you can change the lot many different settings with the terminal and create the uh, really good looking terminal from here now one thing uh, this is how you can do with the ui if you want to like uh, export the uh, these settings or if you want to directly use some uh, settings from the code so you can just uh, create like a um, set up config the settings in a file that is setting.js so click on here open json file and it will open your json file like here and uh, this is how it has i can tell you the different sections here actually so we just created the profile so that profile can get created inside the profile section and list array so there we will find the our new profile And you can just directly uh, configure the settings from this setting.json. So this is how we can turn our boring CMD to the really not awesome uh, terminal. Okay, this terminal has a really powerful uh, actually. Yeah, you can even create uh, like different pens here. Let's say this is the like the pain we want to create you can even directly uh, divide this pain to let's say like this so awesome you can do the really different task here and uh, you can even change the like what should be the pain uh, settings and all these things so you you can see now this is a pain profile is different and this is a different so yeah so the, uh, this is a really simple way you can configure settings here. Uh, thank you for watching and have a happy learning. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment.